I, uh, if you follow me on uh, my Facebook, I, uh, I joined a uh, group that, uh, of my classmates. Yeah, I, uh, I was typing in Mainville Elementary, and my school popped up. And uh, they uh, created a group, so I clicked to join. And they sent me a questionnaire, you know, when did you go to school? And I uh, typed in August of 1969, 1969 to about 76, 70, I think it's 76. And about a day later, they approved me, and uh, I'm now talking to some of my classmates. And, you know, when you're in grade school, you don't really learn. You, you do and you don't learn a lot about your teachers or your principal. You learn about them later on in life. Even though you, you remember them very well, there's still a lot about them that you didn't know. So I'm learning a lot about our principal, Jose Cruz. See, I think it was C-R-U-Z-E. Uh, Jose, J, uh, J-O-S-E. I think that's how you pronounce his first name. But now, that is one guy. That He's probably the most fearful guy I've not threatening but he was the most fearful of all my teachers or principals of any school you know from my elementary to my uh, little Miami then we moved and I went to uh, Lynchburg Clay Highland County and uh, but my elementary days uh, sometimes people call it grade school back in my days you call it elementary now I didn't like my first grade teacher Mrs. Thompson I'm learning more about her and but uh, I kind of I'm kind of right now focused on our principal and why that is he basically horrified me from uh, August, the, the first day I enrolled into first grade, 19, you know, started the school year, 1969, till I left to go to uh, high school, junior, junior high, from to about 76. Jose Cruz, now, I didn't know this part about him. Uh... Apparently, during World War II, either his family or he or he alone was sent. From what I'm, uh, what they're telling me, uh, was sent uh, from overseas to the United States. Now, I'm trying to uh, remember what I read from my classmates. Now. I don't know if he was born over there or what. Now, I remember his talk. Jose Cruz, he, he didn't seem German. No. Uh, he seemed normal talk. I remember his talk. Well, but one thing that I did not like about him at all. He had this German style about him. He had this stiff walk. I guess he is probably then, I'm going to guess, 45, 50 years old. And, uh, sorry for the car noise. Maybe 45, 50 years old. And, uh, he just, he always had a pissed off look on his face. Uh, now, I mean, he, he'd smile. Oh, when he'd when he'd wave to you, like you'd be meet him in the hallway. When he would wave to you, he had this real German, which I did not like. This real German. St I tell you who he remind. I tell you who reminds me of him. You know Hogan's Heroes. 
what is it? Uh, C Colonel Clink. I can't think of his real name. But you know who I'm talking about? Hogan's Heroes. Is it Colonel Clink? I think it's Colonel Clink. You know the German there? The German. The guy that's playing that German. Uh, I think it's Colonel Clink. Am I right? It, forget about the comedy. Now, if you picture him more serious and if he looked more an American if he looked more like an American he reminds me a lot of our principal at Mainville Elementary he's got that stiff now he you know uh, clink in Hogan's Heroes walks with his hands behind his behind him well our principal didn't do that he 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 walked with his hands, you know, uh, to the side. But where he really reminds me is that stiffness. You know, that clink, Colonel Clink, he has that stiffness walk. Well, our principal was the same way, Jose Cruz. I was never so horrified in school. I just, I would have, you know... Some of my class, uh, my classmates agree with me. Our school should have never hired him. Now he wouldn't, he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't threaten me. Nothing like that. It just, he had this, he had this fear to him that if he would punish you, us, us kids. He would just, he'd want to rip the flesh off the bone. That's the kind of look he had. That's what he really reminds me of, reminded me of. You didn't dare want to get in trouble, want to get in trouble with our principal, Jose Cruz. Oh, hell no. And I'm going to use the mild language just to emphasize. He he horrified me. One, I've never was punished by him. Luckily. Uh, I never was. But boy, I came close once. God almighty. Uh, I was in fourth grade. And me and two boys, as we was in the back of the class, we was passing notes. This has probably been what, about 19, uh, 1974, 1975. Look at that bug out of my face. Uh, 1974, 75. I was in fourth grade. Me and two boys. I don't know why we was passing notes. I guess we was bored with a teacher. I don't know. We was passing notes, and the teacher caught us and told us to go out in the hall for our punishment. And I can still hear her say this to us. Her next statement would simply scare the hell out of me. Now, it's been, what, 40, uh, what, 40, 48, 48 years ago? Been 48? I th am I doing my math? My years? My dates right? Four, been about 48 years ago. And I still get goosebumps on my arms like I got now. If that gives you any idea how horrified her next statement would be. Here's what she told us as we was going out the door. She said, and I quote, if the principal, Mr. Cruz, catches you, he can punish you the way he wants. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. We go out in the hall and stand there. That was our punishment. Well, there were some steps to our right going up the second floor. So that kind of blocked. If he, the principal's office was that way. If he was coming that, from that direction, he wouldn't see us. He'd have to get really on top of us to see us. Well, one of the boys that got in trouble with me, two of them with me, 
was real hyper. He was kind of, you know, goofing off and dancing, if he half danced. And we told him, you know, you need to settle down, or you're going to get us. And we told him this you need to settle down, or you're going to get us in trouble. Little did we know that that would pay, that would save us. What happened was he was goofing off, and he just happened to step a little too much too far into the hallway. Just enough where he's seen the principal coming. He comes back to us. His eyes are as big as silver dollars. He says, I can still see him. He gets right up to us. He says, not screaming so the principal can hear him, but he says in a real loud whisper, he says, the principal is coming. Well, they, those two boys, they head up the steps. I said, you're going to get caught. Another teacher's going to catch you. You're going to get caught up there. And, you know, they didn't listen to me. They kept running up steps. Well, I decided to chant something. Uh, there was restrooms right across the hall, a little to the left. I decided to fake a hall pass. Now, how did I fake? You know, I'm, uh, I'm what, 10, 11 years old? Oh, 10, 9, 10, 11 years old. What I do, I, 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 I walk, make a walk for it. But what I do, I keep my left hand stiff and out of his view as if I'm holding a piece of paper such as a hall pass. And I let my right arm, uh, you know, wiggle back and forth like it's like you normal, like you normally do when you're walking. But I knew he was going to catch me. I knew it. I had to aim for the restroom door. Well, my heart, I was just, I'm scared to hell. I'm horrified. I'm just scared to death. My heart is beating out of my chest. I knew he was going to stop me. I knew it. Getting to that door seemed like forever. I, I grabbed it, finally got to the door, restroom door. I opened it, went in, and I faked like I had to go to the toilet. I went into the toilet stall, closed the door, locked it, and pulled my pants down to fake like I had sitting on the toilet. And I could hear his dress shoes coming on that wax floor. I knew he was going to open the restroom door and come in on me and ask me for my hall pass. I knew he was going to do it. I was so horrified and scared, I could feel my heartbeat in my ears. You know how it is when you get horrified, your skin gets clammy? My legs were clammy. My, my arms were clammy. I was just scared to death. Anyway, to make a long story short, he went on. He didn't. He didn't come in. So I waited about five minutes and went out, you know, because I didn't want the teacher to catch me, you know, not standing by the door. So I, I snuck out and looked, and those two boys were already back there. So I went back there with them. And about fifteen minutes later, the teacher called us in. I tell you what. Uh. You know, he reminded me, our principal, Jose Cruz, he reminded me of maybe the, the school couldn't find another principal and they hired him. Like, as if he just got off of a prison guard job. As if he had been a prison guard and the school decided to hire him. That's what he reminded me of. Now, some of the students liked him on my uh, uh, the group I'm with on Facebook. You know, he I'm sure the principal had his pick who he liked as students and who he did not. It's always like that. And uh, but the other students couldn't stand him. This one, one of them, one of my classmates, she said they should have never hired him, and I agree with him. I agree with her. He wasn't threatening. I want to make that clear. He was not threatening at all. He was just fearful. He always had this pissed off look on his face. 
He smiled. I've seen him smile many a time. But yet, he had a mixture. Like, if his face could talk, he could rip the, he could rip the flesh off your bone. That's just how he looked. He, he had this pissed off look all the time. That German style. Oh, I couldn't stand that. That German style, uh, as one classmate called it, he had this ramrod walk to him. Yeah, real stiff walk. No, he wasn't sick. No, 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 no. It just his ways, his German style. I don't know if he was born over there and lost his accent being over here in America for 25, 30 years after World War II. Then he was a principal at our school from uh, 69 to the 70s. He did. I remember his talk. He he seemed American, but he could have lost that German. I don't know accent. But he had this. You you didn't dare want to get in trouble by him. Oh hell no. Your your worst your worst nightmare. You, you could imagine. And and it was a strong rumor in school. He had an electric paddle. Strong rumor. He would just. That German, I hated his German style way about him. His walk, when he would, uh, I think I mentioned this, when he would wave to you, his arm would only come up a halfway. When he would wave to you, you meet him in a, in a hall, his, his, his wave was a smack of the hand. You know how you normally wave like this? A normal, he didn't wave like that. When he waved to you, he'd bring his arm about halfway up and his hand would smack open. Open and close that quick. It just had German style. I just, I couldn't stand it. It was, just, it was just not threatening, but fearful all the time. you just fearful of him all the time. You know, getting in trouble with a teacher was bad enough if he did, but he was always thinking the worst case scenario. If she sent you to the principal's office, you know, he was all, over, you know, your life was over. He would just tear the flesh off your hide, or tear the. He just. He had that look about him. I mean, damn. I mean, he just. You couldn't relax in school. You really couldn't. Always, I was always afraid of being sent, maybe doing nothing, being sent to the principal's office. Oh, I damn dreaded that. I always had that fear of, you know, getting in trouble, not doing nothing. You know, teacher falsely accusing. Oh, the teacher falsely accusing you, which has happened to one of my, uh, one of my classmates. She got paddled over that, not by him though, by the teacher, by a teacher. But just the thoughts of going to his, to, uh, being sent to his principal's, to his office, just horrified me. It horrified some other classmates, and, you know. I mean, he was a nice guy in a sense, and it's a mix. He was kind of, he was kind of a nice guy, but yet he had this his face, his facial look, just a pissed off look all the time. He'd smile. He was a no. One other classmate put the best. He was a no nonsense, no bullshit principal. And you did not want to get in trouble by him at all, period.